Good morning. This video is going to deal with some more fine things in his video on hidden parts of salvation. Now he's talking about your soul not being on earth, it's in heaven. That's how nutty this guy has gotten. But I really want to look at uh, John chapter 8 and show you proof who the he is, he phones, and not the father. But uh, so let's listen to more of this nuttiness from this guy. So my body and my soul are separate. He's actually thinking your body and soul are actually literally, literally separate people. He takes that verse in Ephesians, who was sitting in heavenly places with Jesus Christ, to mean little. That we don't have our soul on earth. Say, so explain all that stuff, how it works, draw it out, or whatever. I can't. Because it's not, your soul is on, in your body. <laughs> it's got it. And you people give him thumbs up, 87 thumbs up. You people think your soul is in heaven. Stuff's, you know, a mystery. We don't quite get it. You don't quite get it because it's, it's, it's idiotic. It's idiocy. It's insanity. It's down here. But I just read the scriptures and that's what it says. That's what it says. See? See, it's the person has no business in the scriptures because he can't read them. But, but Jesus is saying there, He's saying there, I am not of this world. Standing there is a regular flesh and blood man. And that's why they're confused and they're saying, what do you mean you're not of this world? You're just like us. You know, you have flesh, you have hair, you have teeth, you have eyes. We can, we're looking at you. You're wearing clothes just like we are. You're not of this world. What are you talking about? He's talking about the father. But look at this. We're talking about the son. He's the son. He came down from heaven. 24. I said therefore unto you that ye shall die in your sins, for if ye believe not that I am he, ye shall die in your sins. A lot of the false uh, trinity teachers, they'll, they'll come out and they'll say, well, he's talking about being the Messiah. You don't see that in the context. He's talking about the Father. You want to see where it's in the context? Stop, continue reading. Here's a Ruckman reference Bible I'm reading from here. Jesus claims God as his Father. Verse 25, then said they unto him, Who art thou? And Jesus said unto them, Even the same that I said unto you from the beginning. He didn't claim he was the Father from the beginning. He claimed he was the light. He was the Messiah from the beginning. Verse 26, see, this is what I tell you about liars. He has a King James Bible. He's not reading all the verses, people. None of these bum bums have ever dealt with Hebrews 1 8. They won't deal with it. So don't tell me about this guy being a King James Bible believer. He's a phony and lie. He didn't start with the paragraph from Mark 3, 12. He reads what he wants to read. Just because you have a King James Bible doesn't mean you're interpreting correctly. But verse 26, I have many things to say to us, uh, to say and to judge of you, but he that sent me is true. See? Someone sent him. He's not the father. The father sent him. And I speak to the world those things which I have heard of him. That's the words don't come from, from, from him, it's come from the Father. They understand that not that he spake of them of the Father. He's not speaking about himself. He's speaking of someone other person. Here we go, verse 28. Then said Jesus unto them, When ye have lifted up the Son of Man, then shall ye know that I am he. Is the Father no, the Son of Man? That's who he's referring to. If he read all the verses... That other verse, interpreting scripture with scripture, I am he, it's not referring to the Father. The Son of Man is referring to. That's the Messiah. And that I do nothing of myself, but as my Father hath taught me, I speak these things. The Father's another person. And he had and he that sent me, and he that sent me is with me. The Father hath hath not left me alone. Oh no, I, I'm, my soul is in some other place. See. For I always do those things that please him, or I please my own soul. Okay? So that's what you get with this nut. The Trinitarians, they say, oh, that he's the Messiah. Just because the guy, you know, that's what he says. See, I opened the King James Bible, and I'm reading for King James Bible. He is picking and selecting verses he wants to read. The Bible interprets itself. If he had continued reading, well, if it started right, right paragraph, Mark, there would be no confusion. 
But he purposely stops where he wants to stop and goes where he wants to run to, run to here, run to there. Tells you you got a soul that's in heaven now. Your soul isn't on earth. Your soul is in heaven. When, when Paul said to die was to be with the Lord. Die was gain. He wasn't with the Lord at that moment. In reality, time. God sees us in union with Christ. But in reality, of course, our souls are still on earth. We still have to go through time. This guy can't can fathom that. And you, you idiots out there think he's running around thinking, oh, our souls in heaven now. <laughs> <Even more. laughs> but just show you, he does the strange terms. I think it's the Messiah. This guy is a liar, a distorted of scripture. And use the King James Bible to rest the scriptures for private interpretation. I got more to say with this guy and some other things to the issue of salvation. Amen. Thank you.